Hey, how's it going? What's going on? What do we have here? It's a 1927 D double eagle coin. Really? Yep. OK, where did you get this? So my mother got this from her mom. It's been in our family since like the 1940s. My mom's about to retire, and she said, hey, see if you can get some money for it. So you know this is like one of the rarest coins in the United States. Oh, yeah, I researched it. Do you also have the Holy Grail in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking to sell my rare 1927 D double eagle coin. Ever since I was a kid, I remember everybody in my family talking about this coin. So I'm really excited to bring it in here today and see what it's worth. I'm looking to get at least $500,000 or more. This is incredible. Coin collectors go nuts over this coin. The reason it's called St. Gaudens is the designer of this coin was Augustus St. Gaudens. The D stands for the Denver Mint. In 1927, the Denver Mint made $180,000 $20 gold pieces. Not a big vintage, but something weird happened. For some reason, the government came along and says, well, just throw those in a vault, and we'll put them in circulation later. Six years later, in 1933, Franklin Roosevelt comes along, the Gold Confiscation Act, which basically made it illegal to hoard gold. So except for maybe the ones that somehow got out of circulation, and no one really knows the exact story how they got out of circulation, were all melted down. So we don't know the exact number of these things out there, but it's not a lot. That's what makes it so rare. So how much you looking to get out of this? Based on my research, I'm thinking about half a mil, $500,000. OK. Not an unreasonable figure for this coin. So let me look at it. Please do. OK. So do you know how much grandma paid for it or anything like that? Actually, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not too sure where she got it from. OK. The second you said you had a 1927D St. Gaudens $20 gold piece, I mean, you know, I've been in this business a long time. And this is not real. It's a, it's a fake. <sighs> this is real gold. It's a 1927, but it's not a D. The D has been added. I have seen this plenty of times before. You take a 1927 Philadelphia $20 gold piece where there is no mint mark, and you have a good jeweler weld a little piece of gold there and meticulously carve out a D. You take a $2,000 coin and turn it into a million dollar coin with a little letter. But it's next to impossible to add the D correctly because the rest of the coin is struck with a 50 ton press. The difference is really easy to tell. But it is gold, so it's got to be worth some. I mean, it, there's $1,800 worth of gold in this. But it's just not for me. It's not real. All right. It's worth the gold value. That's it. Well, thanks for checking it out for me. I appreciate it. Luckily, you're breaking the news to your mother and not me. <laughs> OK. All right, have a good one, man. All right, thank you. Thanks for coming in. I know that the coin is worth something, but in this case, the D stands for disappointment.